The fire truck. The fire truck. A lot of people have asked me about the fire truck. The fire truck is not mine. It's actually a friend of mine who was going to store it here for a little while. And a little while has turned into like, eh, over two years now. And I'll be honest with you, I've never tried to start it or anything. And I've hardly even really looked at it. But uh, no better time than now while we're in the mood of fixing rakes and everything. You know, we got a little rain shower last night. He's like, what's the deal with the fire truck? So fire truck story is friend of mine had to move uh, out of state and need a place to park it. Wasn't supposed to be here long and here we are. So not the end of the world. I'm kind of tired of looking at it right here. So if we can get it started, might move it over there or something. But uh, for right now, we're going to uh, check it out. I do know the battery is right here. Let's see it is it is definitely wasp time so you got to uh got to be prepared for some wasps to come out oh, we need to leave that open i'm pretty sure that that's a deep cycle battery i guess it'll work we got the jump box but it's an old uh old ford what model is it 900 old gas it's an old gas fire truck but uh we're gonna see if we can't get it started up and uh move it around a little bit Maybe at least back it up here out of the uh, the corner right here. Maybe drive around the farm. Need to figure out uh, where the gas fill at is at on it. We we'll probably need to raise the hood up and check the oil in it. I think we did. We just looked at it. I think we figured out how to raise the hood up. What was it? Both of those yeah, safety things? This one. Oh, oh we got two stage right there. So when you're driving, <laughs> you slam on brakes. They're gonna latch. I don't need to get decapitated. Looks like it's got some coolant in it. Oil, let's check that. It's dirty. It's in there. You can smell it. <laughs> you can smell it. Come on. There we go. We found it. Where's the gas tank at on this? That'll help us determine where the fuel cap is. I can't find the fuel cap. Well, there's no gas tank right there. I think it's in the back. Yeah, it looks like a gas tank right there. No wasps. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, probably the one that says gasoline. Oh, wasps. What kind of contraption we got? Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Well. Well, there. That that'll work. We'll have to figure that out there in a second. Oh, we do have the jump box and I do have the key for it. So, uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> I think he said it did leak gas. So there, um, we do have five gallons of gas. We're going to dump in it and, uh, make sure that there is enough in the tank for the, uh, pump to hopefully prime the system. So let's put a little gas in it and, uh, see if the jump box will get, uh, the fuel pumps pumping. Where's the exhaust at on it? Got, we got to be able to see. Back to the left. It comes out right there. Oh, right here. Right under the battery. That'll make it good. I'm sure it'll blow out some blue smoke or something. Blue, black. Blue, black, gray, mm -hmm. green, all the colors. All right, let's see if we can get the little gas in here, hook the jump box to it, and see if we can get, uh, get it to prime. What you think? Think it'll run? They drove it here, so <laughs> we shall see. Okay. okay, I don't know. I didn't say it was safe, but they drove it here. All right, let's get some gas. What did you say? Manufacturer. May of 1974. I think she's almost what 50 years old. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Does that count as an old start? I'm gonna say it does. A classic. A classic. Vintage. Vintage. All right, hold the camera and help me uh, 
trying to get some gas in this thing the fill caps like broke off it's kind of below the the fill area <laughs> you'll have to hold up while i pour the gasoline in there probably need to get that dirt out of there it's fine it's fine it's got a big tank it'll separate out oh god how long does it take to put gas in the fire truck it all down on me. oh god why is it leaking out so bad Just take the funnel off i can't how am i supposed to reach that then Take the funnel off. And then what? And then stick it in there. It won't. <laughs> then stick it upside down. I'll hold the camera and I'll hold the fill thing. <laughs> I've been deemed unsuitable to pour gas. I mean, that works too. <laughs> Show up. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Oh, it's going all down my hand. Now we're even. <laughs> we should have brought the Thunder Creek. <laughs> Too bad there's no gas in there. Well, you got two extra tanks. It's, I don't think they're made, no, that one's not made for it. gas. There'd be a little cross contamination. Yeah. My hand is soaking. <laughs> Good thing is I can hold it over the carburetor. <laughs> Local fire today. <laughs> Holding a cigarette. <laughs> Oh, uh, we might as well put it all in there. Let's say maybe save a gallon. Maybe a gallon. Maybe a gallon. In case we need a splash for something. Carburetor. For the carburetor. I got starting fluid. Why are you trying to lock it up? Did you save a gallon? Yeah, it's about a gallon. It's about a gallon, he says. I wonder how much gas would evaporate out. That was, uh, you know, not really covered. All right, I guess we need to hook the jump box to it. You, would you like a wipe? Yeah. All right, let me get you a wipe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, the red one is the hot one. Are you sure? Because well, they both look black. Well, that's got a red one. It's got a got battery acid all over my hands now. It, it does say positive right there. I don't think that's quite the right battery for this truck. But it, give it a go. We're gonna give it a give it a. a. Dun, dun, dun. 12 won't get it 24 wheel. 24. Well, something. it'll definitely prime the carburetor up. <laughs> Fry everything. Fry in everything in the process. I don't know what happened. Well, nothing smoking. It's always a good sign. Push the button. Oh yeah, we're cooking it. Almost 14. All right, what's our plan of attack? Cut the key on. See if the fuel pump, no waspies. I do remember him saying something about uh, that. I don't hear nothing running. I don't know. We got lights or anything in the dash? I don't have nothing. They'll wiggle the jump box a little bit. Maybe it ain't got a good connection on those crusty cables. Might need to clean those off a little bit. I ain't got nothing. Was that? No. I don't think there was a master cutoff switch nowhere. Um, 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 um. There's a lot of buttons in here. I ain't got nothing. Maybe we take the battery off and hook the jump box directly to the cables. I don't know. Let's go look. Do what? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that should should get some juice to it. I bet that's got to I'll probably need to clean that a little better there. Got a little. Well, I mean, it's. No lights, no nothing? No. Nothing. Huh. 
Well, probably not. Let me get a block and put it under the tire before we get too ambitious here. I saw some in the back back here. That's probably, yeah, there was a wheel chalk in here. That's probably a good, good indication of why that was in here. Prefer it not roll down the hill into my truck. A lot of starting fluid, so that's a sign. Did you put it in neutral? I wonder if the clutch has got to be pushed in. Yeah, I figured the lights on the dash would come on. You would think something would come on. It's at a 45 degree angle. You're okay. Hold on. You're lighter than me. Well, that is true. Okay, here comes the fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be on a mountain. Please don't roll. It won't even move. Oh. There you go. Ah. Now, the, now the pump's running. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Try it? Sir, <laughs> very, very uncomfortable. You're can you let me down a little bit so I can put it in neutral? You're okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's priming. Oh, we got a fuel leak. Oh, we got a massive fuel leak. Cut it off. What happened? That's leaking out the carburetor real bad. Help. Yeah, and you wanted me to get up there. <laughs> I did. I'd have been stuck in that. Great content. They'd have to call the fire department to get me out. What's leaking? Oh, the carburetor is really, really leaking bad right there. Or it goes across. Yeah. Or it feeds this side. Yeah. The O ring in there is bad. Very bad. Very bad. No bueno bad. What the fuck? I, I think I cut the master off. Oh. I can reach in there and get it. Can you reach it? It, it's yep 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 we go ahead and cut that off she's uh leaking real good we got that carburetor off to fix that yeah it's quite the project right there isn't it? yeah can we flex seal it Take, uh, if you can take you the just, four bolts off the back, you can yeah. Just take these four bolts off. As long as you can get to all four, yeah. You can get to all four. No yeah. linkages attached to it or anything. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. I got tools. Hey, you want to look at my tools? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get our tools and we're gonna take that off and see if we can. I got my O-ring kit. Put a new O-ring in there and. What? O-ring kit. Oh, O-ring kit. Yeah, 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 O-ring
they evidently somebody didn't tighten the fitting up. And you know, when they get loose, it can blow the ring out. Yeah. It, I mean, it was a little O-ring like that right there. So, <clears throat> all right. Ain't nothing like a uh, little $20 O-ring kit from the farm show to save the dough. Do what? Right. What did you say? Oh. Does it fit? Might have force it. <laughs> oh, like one size smaller. One size smaller. Oh, it'll be fine. Just it's better than it was. No. No, one size smaller. smaller. All righty, hold on. We got another kit if we need something in between. Okay, right O-rings do seem to make a little bit of a difference. Not so thick. Well, we had to pull out the, the probably the standard kit. The metric was uh, the wrong size. Look here, gonna be a Ford running here in just a minute. We hope. Gotta go put the fire out over there. You Rear! We gotta just see if the sirens work on it. All I care about. This thing's been here two years and I've never like really driving by it all I the open, time. Yeah, I opened the door and looked at it and like, oh, that's cool. I got ten other things I need to be doing. Uh oh. I get ahead of myself. There we go. Got her now. You don't have to go the right way, but it does help when tidying. <clears throat> All right, let's try it again. No leaks. Yep, it's leaking. Is it leaking? Where is it leaking? Same spot. Oh, well, that's a problem. That okay, mean now. Oh dear, they're definitely the wrong wrong O-rings in. Yeah. I told you we need a bigger size. I told you we need a cat kit. <laughs> the good thing is we got real good experience on uh, taking that off. <laughs> Do you think we should change both O-rings while we're in here? Sure. <laughs> we uh we think we're better now yeah maybe no guarantees the good thing is there's not gas spraying out yet not yet i won't talk too soon 30 feet oh, 30 seconds out the top. oh looky there we... the fuel pump's a little too much do what the fuel pump's a little too much well there's like two of them so let me cut one of them off is that more better? Maybe fuel pump and prime it, and then once it gets run, it will run off its own. I don't know. Put her back together. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Got a fire extinguisher? Just in case, pull pin, aim in the direction of fire, and squeeze nozzle. Not like right there, but like you, you start at the bottom of the fire and work yeah, your way up. Work your way up. <laughs> work your way up. You just want to see me climb up in this thing again. Yeah. I don't know where. I, it's hard to tell where the gears are sitting at this predicament. If it catches on fire, I'm in the danger zone. That's a gear right there. That's got to be neutral. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's the horn. <laughs> Gotta put the needle in there. Are we ready? What do I need to do? Well, that was too easy. It is just pouring gas out of it. Yeah. Cut the fuel pump off. No, or? it's good now. Let's go check out the smoke. That went pretty good.
It ain't running bad. Give her a little juice. Oh yeah. We're going to drive her. You think I can take the jump box off? Should stay running, shouldn't it? Or a gas engine need power. A gas engine, does it need power to? Had to cut the fuel pump back on? Yeah. The top switch. <clears throat> What'd you do? All right, try it again. Try it again. Might have to push the clutch in. <laughs> it's making bad noises over here. It's making bad noises over here. I think it's the, where is the starter? Under the, uh, under the frame? Is it really? Oh, it is. So the bottom one was what was? Well, I'm thinking M is called manual pump on and yeah. then take an eighth and maybe auto. Yeah, for more, well. I don't know, I just remember he said you had to cut that one on to like really prime it up and then that one to run it on. I don't know, that's custom I think. Well. Well, it was running. Give her a little love tap. You know, a little cylinder or something's gone bad? Yeah. Well, darn. I wanted to drive it. It did run pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. we'll <laughs> <laughs> Just brand new truck to pull it with. No, 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 no. His truck had a big dent in the back of it where they towed it home and the brakes failed and it ran into the back of the truck. It's only cosmetic. Yeah, it's just cosmetic. We're, we're not going that route. We'll pull it with a backhoe. Run to the backhoe. You'll just have a bucket in the cab. So this, that. Um, hold on. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just do that. Uno momentos. Do what? Oh, I have it backwards. That's fine. That helps. Are you squint, right. squinting for safety? It sounded better. You guys get more lining belts. I don't know if that needs to be on or not. It is just pouring gas out. I don't know if you gotta keep flipping the switch on and off or what. Think I got to?
switch is on right now. Why is so much gas pouring out? The switch is off right now. It's off right now. It's on now. Leave it on or cut it off? It's on now. There's gas going everywhere. Let me cut it on. Maybe that's what it is. That's auto and it cuts it on and off. I don't know. I don't know what they've got rigged up here. It's running though. All right, I think we've got it figured out. You just got a carburetor's clogged up in it. Ready? Yeah, switch it on. Should I cut the, the manual switch on, the prime? Yeah. Get fuel up to it. All right, cut it off. So we just have to keep messing with the switch. Ready? Shut the hood. Coming down. Coming down. I assume that's the bark break. Oh yeah, she moved. I'll let him take a video. That's gonna get you to get a video of it driving. You be in the truck? Or outside it, I'm delivering this whole morning back. Yeah, okay. down the road come back
the fly. The lights on it don't work? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, the one's up top working. to drive this one, huh? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Too much gas. 
Too much. Gotta get that balance just maybe, right. Maybe too much, too much gasolina. There's a tree back there somewhere. There's a wood chalk back there too. You ran over. I like it. So it's gonna stay on the farm for a little while. I don't know. I wish it would leave. <laughs> I like it. Uh, breaker breaker one nine there. We got a uh, emergency coming up. The fire truck. Oh yeah. Well, that's it for this year. It actually, uh, it drove pretty good. Probably need to roll the window up. <clears throat> Did you roll your window up, sir? No. We'll have waspices in here if you don't roll the window up. Well, the fire truck is currently moved from its current location. Oh, we gotta figure out how to plug up this gas. Do that a little better. Yeah, maybe put the uh, cat back on it or something. Till next time.